called the obvious. Not entirely sure why it's called the obvious. It doesn't seem like a great name. Um, to save a little bit of time, I'm sure you're getting a little bit bored. I'm just gonna <clears throat> let me see what's in here. No, I don't need to copy that. I'm gonna copy uh, the future Christmas one. Okay. Paste. And then we're going to call it 73588, the obvious. 73588, the obvious. I hope it's obvious where the name is actually coming from. And if we have a look inside there, we'll see we have a calculate on which day Christmas falls. Get rid of that. And we also need the URL, don't we? So let's go into the pre folder where we do an open URL. I should actually say, you know, open the URL to the obvious site, but couldn't be bothered. I should do this. Open the open um, 735.88, the obvious obstacle. Open your obstacle. That reads a little bit better, and if somebody else is looking at it, it's gonna make a lot more sense, okay? Uh, so the process is we go in here, we click on this generate random text, which gives us 4M155, whatever. And then it, we're going to have a drop down box which will have 4MO155. Okay. Click submit, and that's done. So as you can see, generate random, it is generating a random string. So let's hit a let's hit this thing fresh and go and generate a module off the back of it. Let me take the string I have, the folder name, create a new folder. You don't have to do it like this, don't have to create a folder new every time, but personally I just kinda like it. But I'm open to suggestions. So let's right click on that folder and then scan, scan an application. There's our application. There's my recording application. So my Zeus thing and my desktop. Again, select on screen, condense. I'm interested in this this, this, and this. So let's finish that screen and close. Let's have a look at that module. That looks good. And let's drag that mo drag that module into the process folder. Verify. Let's see obstacle course there. Okay, the obvious. The verify needs to be second. When you drag a module, when you put a module into a folder, it always goes to the very bottom, okay? Now this makes this a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. Um, it's a link, it's a text field, it's a drop down, it's another link. So let's just do um, let's just do a click on that. We're gonna need to do a click on this as well. Random text. Well we need to buffer the random text. Um, I like the way that has appeared, actually. I like that. Um, so we buffered it, and now in this one we want to select. We want to select that buffer. Um, B random text input. R A N D O M text. R A N D O M text. Let's give it a go. So click on the test step name, click F6. Buffer. Random text was not found. Hmm. Can somebody tell me what is going wrong? Same error. 
uh, let's just do F7. Let's just disable some of this stuff and F6 it again. See if we can just click on that generate random text. Okay. So we can do the click. That's great. Let's do an F7 now to enable that again and try it again. And it worked. Tell me why that didn't work the first time. Because I'm confused. So we do an F7 to enable this and this. Is, it, is F6 going to run all the way through? Yeah, that worked. So let's go back to the high level. I'm a little bit confused. Why did, why did that work? Let's try the whole thing again, okay. Kill our window. Go to the top. It's in work. Go to the top, F6 it. And it worked. Alright guys, um, I am a little confused as to why it didn't work the first time I ran it. And I would very much like to know why that happened. I would very much like for you guys to give me a comment and explain to me why it didn't work the first time, but it worked every time after that. All right, let's leave it there. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah, you know what I'm... Oh, Christ. <laughs> C-R-I-B-E. You know what I mean, guys. Jesus. It should be S-C-R-I-B-E. All right, guys. Jesus. Anyway, um, I'm going to leave that as working until somebody says I know why it didn't work the very first time. Cheerio. Have a good evening.